from Optics EQ, and I want to talk about more about Optics Plot 2020. And the best way to kind of learn this is by looking at a real-life example. So we're going to look at race four from Del Mar on Wednesday, August the 14th. And I'm going to do this and break it down into three segments. We're going to start with uh, analyzing the plot, interpreting the plot. Second, we'll look at some of the sliding bars and things like speed figures and class and so forth. And lastly, we'll look at the table and look at the optic stokes keywords and alerts. So let's start off with the plot. Every time I look at plots, the first thing I look at is the header, right? So I'm going to look at the header information here. Looks like we got a good plot fit of yellow. Contention is uh, a snowflake, which means it's light, and yet the speed rating is very, very high at 90. So what does all that mean? Okay, so the contention means that it doesn't look like there's a lot of horses that can really actually can compete on the front end. But it looks like the horses in the race will run really fast. So it looks like there could be a fast pace, even though it might not be contentious. Uh, one thing to look at is what we have down here is called a par line. And what that is, is that just tells you to the second call what these horses should run. And you can see when all these horses are above the par line, that just means a lot of horses can outrun what's typical for this class level to the second call. So that's why we're anticipating a fast pace. Uh, but not necessarily a contentious one. Uh, let's start, and the way I like to look at this is from left to right or front to rear, right? If these if Above is the run lines, I mean the run styles of horses, how they like to run. So the E's will be forwardly placed, they need to lead, e, EP's can are multi-dimensional. You get the picture from left to right, and we're going to analyze the E and the EP's first, okay? So let's look at those and let's look at the, them on the plot. So that's the nine, the two, and the eight. And the way I like to look at this again is initially left to right on the plot. So the two and the nine are the ones that look like are going to be sharing the lead. It looks like the nine dominates the two. And, and, and from the eight's perspective, uh, again, uh, it looks like the eight gets dominated both by the two and the nine. And the eight is a red in terms of his RPM, that means it's a very negative sign, right? This horse's plot isn't really matching up with the way he likes to run, right? You can see uh, where he is all the way down there. So it, it might be different if he was a closer or a presser, but in this case, this is a horse that you know, really likes to be into the race early. Uh, and so uh, that's real negative. So we're going to be looking at the nine to really kind of dominate the front end uh, from that perspective. And Looks like the two and eight are going to be casualties and potentially will not hit the board, but uh, more to come as we analyze the rest of, of, of the uh, of their form and so forth. So now I'm going to move over and look at uh, P and PC, horses that want to uh, press or stalk the pace, uh, maybe come off of it a little bit. And you can see it's really kind of congested here in the middle. There's lots of ways to go. Uh, I, I really don't distinguish any of the one, three, six, ten. Yeah, the three looks like he's got a nice size square. It might might be better finishing, so that that's kind of a positive. The ten's a little circle, but they're all above the the line and they're all above the uh, x axis, so they all have a shot. Again, the eight we've eliminated is really not part of the, the middle press or the middle part of this. So you know, as far as the the one, three, six, ten, not a lot to distinguish right now in terms of pace. They all you know, seem to fit the way they want to run. So, uh, moving on to the closers, we have the four and the five. Uh, also, we have the seven in quadrant four. So it looks like he's a closer, even though he really doesn't have an established run style. You don't see the number up there. That means he doesn't have an established run style. He's a big circle in quadrant four, a real negative, uh, real low percentage. Horses win that kind of way. And so he looks like a casualty from the closers. The four and five look pretty good both on standard and surface and distance. Um, in fact, the five really improves, gets up into quadrant two. So those two horses are viable. So you know, basically from this, I think our, uh, our pace casualties are hard to distinguish right now. So we're gonna be looking for other things to uh, maybe distinguish the horses from one another. One other thing before going uh, in terms of the plot analysis is I wanna look at the quad percentage uh, sliding bar. What this tells us Again, you know, which horses might have an edge, which horses uh, from a plot track profile standpoint relative to one another. Uh, it looks like uh, the one, 
three look pretty good. Uh, and then the negatives are two and seven. And, we, you know, we kind of confirmed that those horses look like they're uh, patient casualties. So, you know, no, again, nothing that really kind of jumps out. Maybe the 10 looks a little negative too. So that circle uh, in those quadrants may be a little negative. So that's something to keep in mind. Two and seven really kind of look terrible. Uh, so, you know, that kind of confirms some of the analysis we did. And, you know, the one and the three look pretty good in the middle of those squares. Um, and uh, so, you know, that's it. I mean, that's kind of our pace analysis. We're going to move, be moving on to the other segments and try to do a complete analysis of, of race four from Del Mar.